Hello everyone. I wanted to show you a couple of different calligraphy type pens. So you probably know about this. This is the Pilot Parallel pen. They come in about four different widths. So these can draw, you know, flat lines, thin lines, all kinds of things like that. So you can, this has got uh, Earl Grey ink in it. So you can do different things like that. Um, there's different widths. So these different color ones have different sizes. So there's, about, there's four different sizes. And then related to that are folded pen, folded pens. So basically what these are is two pieces, of, it's one piece of metal that's basically folded over and then put into a, a nib holder here. So this is kind of the standard shape. They do come in different shapes. This is a brass one. I got this from John Nell, which is a bookmaker calligraphy site. So basically what these is you have to dip them in the ink. You have to have a big enough bottle of ink. And then you can draw across like that. You can get some great marks. You can do it upright, you can go fast. You know, it gives you really, really nice marks like that. So the only problem with these is you have to keep dipping them because it's a dip pen. So this is one that I made. This is made out of a coconut water can. They're very thin cans and you can just cut it with scissors. And this one also does interesting marks because of the notch that I cut. You know, it'll, it'll make that kind of a mark. Again, you can use the end. And if you go really fast, you can get all kinds of scatter marks and things like that. So. And then as you can see, my watercolor balls work great for calligraphy pens too. I've had calligraphers buy these because you can just set your pen on the bowl and it just stays. You can leave it loaded with ink and you don't have to worry about it. So what I got yesterday, which I've been waiting for, you've seen this Opus 88 that I adapted. And I took out the nib and I put in a calligraphy nib. Now this nib is from um, Toronto Pen Company in Canada. And what they do is they modify this square nib. So this is the square one again. So they change this nib by making it in sort of a, into a sort of a mini folded nib. So you can see right there, it's got a, all of a sudden it's got an angle on it, which changes it quite a bit. So that one, I put that one into my Opus 88 with all the ink. So this page here is all the marks I was able to do with this pen. So you can do, of course, the skinny lines like that. Oh, the other thing is it's got a piston. So you unscrew this, which lets the ink come down into the feet. If you're traveling, you can tighten that up and then it won't let ink in, which means it won't leak. I don't think it's gonna leak anyway, but. So you can draw like this. If you lower it down, you get a wider line. You can go fast. You can draw on the tip. You know, you can hold it different ways. It really is a great, great pen. I was sketching with it yesterday. It's fabulous for urban sketching. And because there's so much ink in here, it's really great when you're out outside. You don't have to worry about ink, running out of ink. And, it, and because it's got this piston here, you can tighten this up and that shuts off the ink to the feet here. So you don't have to worry about any ink escaping. So really, really nice, beautiful job on this pen. And you can also, I could take out this nib and put in any of the parallel pen nibs. The plates just slide out. I don't even have to take the housing out. I just pull out the plates, put in new plates, and go. So excellent, excellent, fun, really fun pen to use. Really, really nice. So you can see, like I said, all the marks that I was able to make with one pen. So everything from the thinnest lines to dots, to all those. So those are all done with the same pen. So you can get the mod. Modification is from the Toronto Pen Company online. The Opus 88 I got from Gold Spot Pens. There's a few other places to get them. And these uh, fun can pens. There's a lot of YouTube videos on how to make these. It's basically cut the metal into the shape, fold it, and then tape it. This is just a chopstick. I just taped it onto a chopstick. Really, really easy to make. And you can make a bunch of different ones. This is a square one that I made. 
So you can see they're really fun to make and you can play with them. And you can actually make them really big. The only thing is you have to have a big enough container to dip into. So, so thanks for watching. Hope that's enlightening and fun. And uh, try them out. They're really fun to sketch with. See you later.